Hey guys, welcome back to Single Girl Budgets. I apologize if I sound a little weird today. I'm fighting, who knows what, like cold grossness, bleh. It's snowing, it's gross, and my body is just not happy. But today we are doing a debt payoff update because I made some serious progress. Well, okay, not like serious, serious, but like better than I have been progress. And I'm gonna need to mark it down. So let's see, what color should we, ooh, purple. I'm gonna do purple for this month. So with Best Buy, I am, I went ahead and put some extra money towards it because it does need to pay, my goal is to pay it off by December. Technically I have until February, but I don't like pushing it that close because I looked at the amounts and I want to say there was $150 in deferred interest. I'm not looking to pay $150 extra than I need to. So my goal is to have it paid off uh, in December. As of right now, that is the plan. I've ran all the numbers. I should be able to do it without pulling any money from my my savings account because I don't want to have to do that. I want to be able to pay for it with just my monthly income. No, nothing coming out of savings because once that money goes into savings, I don't want to pull it out unless I absolutely have to. So I am down to two fifty five. So each square up here represents twenty five. So four is one, another four is two, that's 50. Well, we're not gonna pay that. So I'm gonna pay off, I'm gonna put down five, which is correct, because I did put about $130 to it this month. And then, like I said, next month, I should have no problem doing the last 255 that I'm at. And then this will be paid off and I can move on to bigger and better things. Now, I will be recreating this debt payoff sheet come the end of the year for January. I, I actually have added more debt since I made this because, oh, <laughs> I'm dropping things. I'm gonna like trigger some of y'all like Dave Ramsey purists and debt like free people because I have no problem adding debt. Oh my god, she said it. Uh-huh. So especially if it is zero percent interest. So for example, this Best Buy was for a computer that I needed because I can't you know, put videos up. I can't do anything on a computer unless I have one and I needed to purchase one. So what I did was I financed it through Best Buy. It is at 0% interest for a year, which like I said, we are coming to the tail end of that. And you do not pay interest unless you do not pay it off by that date. Like I said, I will pay it off by that date because worst case scenario, I pull the money out of my savings. Okay, like if I have to, I have to. It's completely fine. Like I'll do it if I have to, but why would I give them my money if I don't have to? I can have it sitting in an account making 2% interest instead of giving it to someone else. So that's what I'm gonna do. So like I said, I have added more debt. I actually did the same thing with a TV from Best Buy for my like living room. I've been looking for a long time. They ended up having a great price on one, which I actually got for even lower eventually. That's in a, an older video. But that one is not due until, I didn't even look. It's like $500 and it's not due until probably like, mm, September-ish. Um, I'll worry about that when it gets closer. I'll just keep making the min minimum. And then I also purchased a patio set because I really just, 
I have dealt with the patio furniture that I've had for about five years. I saved up for a new set and then I realized, hey, I could finance it through big lots and not have to give them all my money at once and I can make some interest off of my money while I pay them the minimum. So on big lots, I do still owe $755. That is due by March. My plan is to pay it off in January or February at the absolute latest. And then, like I said, that will show up on the debt payoff tracker for 2020. I just, I made this before I ever did that. So, hence why it's not on here. So, that's where we stand. The only thing I currently do pay interest on is my car, which... Ugh, I hate it. Like, I have a love-hate relationship with my car. I hate paying interest on it, but I love my car. I need a car. I have a good car. I have a very nice car. But I also have a small car, and I have a 160-pound diesel. So, love-hate relationship there. But I do like to track what goes to interest each month. So, for my, this is auto-drafted. Every ninth, I pay the same amount. I pay $355. The payment itself was $352 something, but I rounded up. It just makes, I pay it off a little bit quicker that way. And it just, nice round number. I like round numbers. So, I am currently down to, which this is actually really exciting because I'm almost in that four-digit range. Um, next month is going to be really close. Like, I might be in the four digits. Probably not. I think I'm going to be just over that amount. But I'm at $10,327.83. dollars So, I have a feeling... Come 2020, it'll take that January 2020 payment to get me under the $10,000 mark and be down in that four-digit range. And then goal for 2020 is pay this shit off, pay it down, get rid of it, be done with it, start saving for when I need to replace it, etc. So I went ahead and did some math. Basically, if you take this number minus this number, we'll tell you how much the loan was reduced, which is about $323. Subtracted from this number means that I lost $31.85 to interest. So basically, I pay a dollar a day to the bank for borrowing money so I can pay off my car. It almost like sickens me. Like when you look at it, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 270 dollars. Not counting these, so I mean that's a lot more. Just for using their money. Ugh rather use my own money. So, let's see here. Do I get to do any of these in? I'm, I usually get to do two or three depending on the month. So, I did do, these are 100 each. It is 10 wide. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm down to what? 10, 3. So, technically 10, 4 because I don't color them in until I'm below it. I'm not a cheater. So, so I do get to color in three of them. I love coloring charts. I think that they are highly motivational. I don't know about you guys, but I love to see them filled in. And I am debating, so I said I'm going to remake this chart for 2019. I am debating if I want to like transfer what has already been paid over or if I just want to start at the new new amount I don't know let me know what you guys would do put in the comments if you were going to remake this chart because it had changed mainly because you would add in more debt because I like to shop and I have a slight problem not like a big problem but 
I'm not paying interest on it, so to me that's a big, th that's a, like, main thing there. There's no interest. Would you transfer it with, like, where you started, which technically this isn't even where I started. It was much higher than that before I ever did this sheet. So I don't even know if that matters, but let me know. Would you rather see the progress from like the total, like start with like one, I don't know, the, the main beginning number? Or do you redo it to where you can, you're still starting at a new like goal every year? Does that make sense? I don't even know. I don't, I need to go to bed, you guys. This, I, I, my brain hurts, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know how your debt payoff is going because I'm so excited to cheer anyone and everyone on. I also think I'm going to do a savings tracker here soon because I'm also like, I'm kind of at that point in my life where don't come for me again, but like, I, I want to pay off debt, but I also want to build my savings because if something major were to go wrong, I have no one to fall back on. And that is where a lot of my money issues come from because I do kind of panic in that sense. So let me, uh, let me know how your financial life is going, I guess. That's a good way to put it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit subscribe to become part of this little corner of the internet and this little fam that we got going on. Hit the bell so you don't miss next month's update, and I'll see you next time. Bye.